this is me and yes it's that time of year again it's clipping time um so casper has is long overdue a haircut he is very fluffy right now yes you are so it's also one of my most satisfying videos of the year clipping him transforming him from a super fluffy polar bear to a very smart horse but anyway first things first it's time to give this guy a groom Okay guys, I'm just giving Casper a quick brush down. I did actually give him a bath this morning, believe it or not, so he's actually all nice and clean. Just getting rid of any little bits of dust that he got out in the field, because today is the one day where I was like, Casper, please don't roll, please don't roll. Luckily he did have a rug on, so that's why he is pretty clean. He had his New Zealand dundas, because it's been a little bit rainy and showery recently, so I didn't want him to get wet as well. All the dirt and grease and grime in your horse's coat can actually cause your clipper blade to become a little bit more blunt so that's why I want to make sure he's nice and clean so he's had his bath this morning just giving him a quick little brush down now so yeah he's looking pretty clean I think it might be clipping time soon <laughs> Okay, so it's been just under a year now since Casper's last been clipped. He's usually always very good to be clipped, so I'm just going to turn the clippers on, let him get used to them a little bit, get used to the sound before I dig in and get clipping, really. Oh, you're okay. Good boy. There we go. He seems all right with the sound. I also like to go on both sides as well with the noise, just because some horses can be funny being clipped on one side and then be fine on the other. You never know, horses are funny creatures. They find lots of things very scary. But anyway, I think it's time to get clipping because clippers are oiled, horses clean. Let's go. better so you don't get the clipper sort of lines in between if you try and do one long sweep but because Casper had his head bent towards me I had this sort of like not mishap because we can fix it so it's fine also he has a little flea bitten bit so there are like little spots where he just has darker like a darker coat which is quite cute so it'll be quite nice to see that as it comes through like here he's got a cute little freckle a little pony freckle but anyway you can see even though I washed him because his coat's so thick, I, there's like a little bit of dust here, which isn't great, but the clipper blades will be fine. So yeah, let's finish him off, hey? Got a long way to go because he's very hairy and I'm doing a full clip, so I'm pretty much doing all over him. I think I'm gonna leave a bit of his face because obviously I want that to be protected against the elements because you can't really put a horse rug on his face, but no, you can definitely see the difference in how fluffy he is at the moment. <laughs> Good boy. Okay. 
All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that very satisfying clipping. Obviously, his neck is probably the part I struggle with the most because he does actually have quite a lot of loose skin because he has lost a bit of weight this year. He used to be quite chunky, if you don't mind me saying, Casper. But anyway, you guys are probably wondering why this horse girl is giving this horse a haircut. So I thought I'd very quickly in some bullet points kind of explain why I do this to my horses. And the main reason is for horse welfare because obviously Casper is a domesticated horse. I ride him, he enjoys his work, it keeps him fit and healthy. Um, but the reason why I clip him in the winter is because his coat gets really long and fluffy as you guys can see. Um, the reason why their coat grows during the winter is because over here in England, as it comes into winter, it gets darker earlier and the horse's coat actually um, grows longer due to daylight hours because it gets darker earlier or um, it doesn't get as light earlier in the mornings. Um, but anyway, so when I ride him, obviously, with this big, thick winter coat, yes, Gatsby, you want the kisses? So anyway, with his big thick winter coat when I ride him, it means he gets a bit sweaty. And because he gets sweaty, it actually makes him colder during the winter because he's wet. It takes him longer to dry off. Um, so the reason why I clip him is so, it's a bit like me being like, okay, let's do some running or let's work out. But asking you to do that in a thick winter coat, it would be really unpleasant. You'd be really hot and sweaty. And um, so yeah, so the reason why I rug my horses during the winter is because I clip them over here in England. England, like Casper could pretty much apart from if it was into the negatives or if it was snowing which happens here very 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 rarely that would be the only reason why I would rug my horses if they weren't clipped but because I clipped them we put rugs on them so they stay nice and warm so no getting cold for Casper hey <laughs> Alright everybody, so one side of Casper is now done. I say done, I do like to do sort of like a rough cut, so it's like, okay, let's just get all the hair off and I will neaten it up later. But anyway, uh, Casper, where are you walking off to? Yeah, come on, this side. Are you camera shy? Yeah, you've got your hairy side this side and then you've got your smooth side this side. It looks so funny, it's like smooth, hairy. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly pop his mane over because obviously we don't want to end up trimming that off. I am actually going to give his mane a bit of a trim because it's like if I give him a clip you know I want him to look smart all over not just where he is however it is mainly for making him a lot more comfy rather than looks you know I do love him as a furry fluffy polar bear but unfortunately you get a bit too sweaty and hot and bothered with all this don't you mate so let's get the clippers Let's get clipping. <laughs> Alright, so I am very hairy now. I've just finished doing his neck on this side. Again, I say finished, 
gonna need to knit up later. I just wanted to get all the hair off. But anyway, um, you guys know that on my channel we have brush cams. So new for 2020, we have a new cam for you guys. We have clipper cam, which I'm very excited to introduce. So yeah, enjoy the cool footage from clipper cam. <laughs> Alright everybody, I've just finished off trimming Casper's feathers because soon I'm actually going to be clipping his legs as well. I did that last year on Mickey and I found it made such a difference with Mickey's mud fever. Obviously with Casper and Mickey both being greys, they're a little bit more sensitive with their skin and to the mud. Um, so I'm actually now going to be cutting Casper's mane. I know, I'm going to be using scissors. In the horse world it's a big no-no to cut your horse's mane. For me personally, because Casper's quite a sensitive horse, he doesn't like having his mane pulled. So I prefer to use scissors, but I try and use a method to make it look as natural as possible. So it doesn't look like I've literally just got scissors and cut it off. At first it will be a rough cut just to get the length and then I'll neaten up. So don't, don't freak out, it's all good. So yeah, I always like to cut off less, just so then if I do need to neaten up and make it more straight, I don't just get higher and higher until he has no mane because that is not a good idea. Also, we don't have anything fun or interesting coming up, so he doesn't need to be looking perfectly smart and pristine. So if I do mess up his mane, it doesn't matter too much. Nobody is gonna be looking at it, apart from all of the people watching today's video, but that's fine. Um, anyway, let's go, first cut. So that's sort of the length I might go for. I might go a teeny bit shorter, but again, you want to sort of gradually do it. So we're taking a few inches off today. I feel like with hairdressers, they always ask you how, how much you want off in inches rather than centimetres, even though over here in England, we do use the, the centimetres for most things. Good boy. Oh no, this is where I don't want you to move around, no. So Casper has a very thick mane and it looks even more thick once I've cut it. Oh my goodness, look at you. You look like you've got a little bowl haircut. There we go, it's a lot easier at the ends here because they're a bit thinner because he likes to rub your old mane out, don't you, to get grass. Nice, okay. I'm gonna grab my hairbrush. Where'd I put it? Here it is. So first I like to make sure that it's as neat as possible or as straight as possible, but it doesn't matter too much. You guys will find out later. I'm, I'm acting like this is a tutorial, but I'm not a qualified horse hairdresser. There are a lot of people out there that you can pay money for to do a lot better job than what I'm doing. I'm a very unexperienced horse hairdresser. No, Caspi, don't move. So yeah, that's not too bad, not too shabby. It's quite straight, but it looks a little bit like I've just used scissors and hacked half of it off. So, oh, let's also make sure I'm not getting any of your forelock. No, which is like a horse, horse fringe, horse bangs. Anyway, I do my little method where I chop upwards like this. And that really does make a huge difference and make it look a lot more natural. I'm also gonna thin it out a little bit as well. 
So I will be back. Oh my gosh, Casper, I'm trying to cut your mane, just stay still. He's yawning, he's sneezing. Oh, that's Joey. What's Joey knowing about? So anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit when this is looking a little less bowl haircutty. Right, that's looking so much better now. So obviously this is, I would say, maybe a few more sessions just to get it a little bit neater and thinner and things, but that's looking so much better. It's not looking as blocky, it looks a bit more natural. Obviously it is quite short, he's definitely gone for a show jumpers hairstyle, but I'm pretty happy with that. So I think the next thing to do is do all the little neatening up bits. So we need to do a little bit on his chinny chin chin because um, his, like, he's, he's not peak hairiness, but he's definitely very hairy. And I'm struggling at the moment to do up his bridle because there's all this fluff here. So I am going to neaten up your little goat beard. Yes, but don't worry, we'll be keeping all of his lovely whiskers. Yes, we're, we're not gonna get rid of the whiskers, just the little beard goat hair here. And I also need to neaten up his legs as well. There's a few patches I've missed. And also clip his legs. So I'll see you when I'm clipping his legs. Good boy. Yeah. Right, so I've now trimmed Casper's legs and also trimmed his little goat beard as well. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just trim his tail because sometimes it gets so long that it actually drags in the mud and that's not quite the look we're going for. So I only like to take a little bit off just to square it off to make it look nice and neat. So I think about there will be fine, just a few inches. There we go. So much better. Obviously his tail is a little bit yellow so I do need to give that a wash because obviously we're not clipping his tail, I didn't need to wash that. Also I must have done such a bad job of washing him because there's so much dust under here. I think it's just because his coat was so long I just didn't manage to get all the grease and grime from underneath. But you know what? He's not looking bad. I think there's a few bits I need to neaten up. I don't know if I'm going to do that today or if I'm going to do that tomorrow just because he's starting to get a little bit fidgety now. We've been doing this for quite a long time and he's been such a good boy. So I think now it's time to go and yes, I know. It's time to go and let him into the arena, let him have a run around and of course let him have a big roll because you're probably very scratchy, very scratchy, yes. Good boy. I know, it's running around time. Okay, wait. Off you go. man. All right everybody, I've just got Casper in from the arena. He definitely busted some moves and was very excited to have a run around. Yes, I'm actually quite surprised he didn't roll today. Usually he rolls, but obviously wasn't feeling it, was a little bit more excited and I think he was a bit more interested in eating the grass around the edge of the arena, but he was a very good boy. He stood very still for a lot of the clipping apart from when I did his, his his face, he moved a little bit, his little goat beard, but it does mean I can do my um, buckles up on his bridle and things, so that's great. So I might need to neaten that up a little bit on a different day, but he's been so good. Like, we've spent quite a few, <laughs> a quite a long time getting him looking how he is now. So I think, yes, you're ready. You're ready to go out in the field. So I've just put on, I've just given him a brush down. 
to try and remove any of the loose hairs that are still stuck on him. I've also put on a um, waffle rug so then hopefully because this is nice and soft all of the hairs will stick so when I take this off in the morning he won't still be all like have all this loose itchy hair on him and then I've also put on his New Zealand over the top, top because he is going out in the field um, he will be going in tonight um, in his stable for bedtime but because um, he does like to roll in the dirtiest patches he has got a very dirty very worn even with with some sewing jobs from myself because he is a rug destroyer so anyway yes we're gonna let you let you out into the field with your friends so anyway guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it and i'll see you all next time bye oh caspi you're so good yes you're so good okay we're gonna let you out in the field now mr sassy boy yeah come on in good man